So this trip coming up is when I went out in the dinghy and then I went out in the boat straight afterwards. It's going to be a little breezy but it was earlier on in the year and we tend to get a lot more wind then. Now I've been trying to get off the shore, well since the boat came up, but all we've had is a lot of wind and a lot of rain, or a lot of gales. But the last couple of days it has calmed down so I have managed to get out and do a few short trips. Now I've been keeping the trips short, sort of you know one or two hours. Um, nothing too too long, just a couple of hours down down with the rods and I've had to go to some easier marks because I'm still getting issues with my back quite bad and I don't want to go down to my, well I do want to go to my be better marks but they're normally a couple of hundred feet down and a couple of hundred feet up so first problem is actually getting down which I don't think will be a problem getting up will be the problem, getting back and even if I do manage it, it's causing so much irritation on the back that it's just delaying the healing. So I'm doing these little short trips each morning, just of an hour or a couple of hours a morning, and gathering some shore footage and just moving to some different marks. So hopefully I'm going to put all that together for next week. I've still got a trip to come tomorrow morning, possibly then the afternoon. I've got to go out down to the beach and then the next morning, and then we've got storms again. So I'm trying to take advantage of the little bit of weather we've got. So like I say, next week that'll come maybe Wednesday, maybe Sunday, I haven't decided yet. It all depends how long it takes me to put it all together. Anyway, today it's going to be the dinghy, then into the boat. Boat's on the beach, so we're going up in the dinghy. I've already taken it down. We're going to go and uh, pop out, and I've got a rod, a couple of lures, we'll give it a quick cast or two, and then um, we'll put a couple of pots that are close in, and then when the tide comes up a bit, I just want to adjust the boat, because it's getting too close to a, a rock, so I need to just pull it across a bit, or we'll shorten the rope a little bit, so these direction of winds, they uh, push it right next to rocks. See what we can catch. Hopefully, we might see a bass or two or a pollock or something out there. So hopefully, we won't get the vibration today. Hopefully, because we're on the two horse, we'll find out. So I apologise in advance if there is any vibration. Should be right on where. Just stop. Just having a bit of fun, like a day off. <laughs> day off from fishing, so we go fishing. to come a little bit further out because the lure I'm going to use is um, actually a deep diver. It's only a small lure. It's a little crystal minnow with a, a deep diving sort of plate on the front and it might go into the bottom. But I've never tried one of these little ones with a deep dive thing on so I know the little ones do catch but I have to say I've never put a diving bit on. So we're in about Probably in six foot of water. It's 
thing is, there is, um, well, I think there's a lot of weed there now, but there used to be, there's a sandal bed further back, and there was a few sandals here the other day on the big tides, so. They're only like the little tiny ones, you know, the sort of three inch kind of thing, four inch. But there was some here, they're quite early, really. There's some pots here. If you happen to be watching this, sink your ropes. You've got floating rope going all the way across. Not good in the bay, particularly. There's lots of boats going in there. That's right, anyway, I'm going to carry on. Yeah, I'm going to crack on as well. <laughs> See you later. See you later, good luck. Yeah, and you. small. We're coming back. I don't think I've got my gauge, we'll have to check. But we are going to the big boat in a minute anyway, so when the water gets around it. We need some more bait in this one. Bad. I 
mean, if you were just catching that normally, that'd be a nice meal. Right, I'm going to stay with the skanky bait. I'm not going to bother rebaiting this one. Again, going full on lobster. We'll keep the spiders out of the pot, that rotten bait. But the lobsters should still be okay with it. There you go, we've come back in. We've timed it pretty well with this boat. We're going to take this boat out, put it on the outer mooring. Um, yeah, because I don't like it here on the inside. I only put it here when we have the storms, normally from the southwest, which is over there, and it pulls the boat this way onto the sand. When it goes this way with the east, it puts me onto these rocks here, the stones, and there's one down in the water there, which is part of Guernsey. And another one over there. This one's the problem though. You can see the boat's almost, well, pretty much is touching it. So, I can shorten the rope a little bit, but obviously I don't want to make it too short. That stone used to be under water, used to be under sand, but it's come up. Look at that, bit of blue gloss. Nice. Yeah. And the other thing, I've got stern rope. Easterly as it comes from that direction, so we're sheltered anyway, and it's not going to be that bad now. We've had the worst of it. So it's going to blow up a little bit uh, next two days, I think, and then it'll be fine again. Right, let's... Well, you're on this stick. You just as well stay on this stick. I'll put you up here, we'll change the battery, then we're going to do a few pots in the bay. And I might... I might pop a bit further out, but I'm not going to go too far. I switch them out each each spring and all. swam out the net. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to move this pot a bit it's not in the great spot there. Right, see so if these have done any better. Can't be any worse than the other one, sure. Six in the bay, two out there, so eight pots, and we've had nothing so far. Well, nothing on a keep, really. I mean, yeah, you could have got away with a crab or two if you wanted to take one to eat, but not the size we're at. And these ones put it out the bag.
Setting a rock down there, which I bang into it. With the pot, that is. <laughs> Take that one. Hold on to that from here. And this one possibly, possibly he says. the claw so we might have been fighting with another one we killed it tight trap pot. <laughs> Always makes it fun. That's a tight trap. 
That's a beauty, that one. Nice big one. Size are up. No bait again. There you go. A couple of lobsters today. And just four spider crabs. But it's okay. At least we got a couple of lobsters out of it. I mean, we did mostly bay pots, and bay pots tend not to be brilliant. Uh, and there's a cormorant diving over there, which is interesting. Maybe sand eel. Wouldn't have thought it's mackerel, not yet. Right, drop these crab off and then gonna head in.